I'm here today in my private capacity. The views are my own and not those of the Department of Health and Human Services. I joined BARDA in 2010, and for the last three and a half years, until April 21st of this year, I had the privilege of serving as its director. BARDA partners with private industry and others in governments to address national health security threats. Today, the world is confronting a public health emergency unlike any we've seen in over a century. We are facing a highly transmissible and deadly virus, which not only claims lives, but also disrupts the very foundations of our society. The American healthcare system is being taxed to the limit. Our economy is spiraling downward, and our population is being paralyzed by fear, stemming from a lack of a coordinated response and a dearth of accurate, clear communication about the path forward. Americans yearn to get back to work, to open their businesses, and to provide for their families. I get that. However, what we do must be done carefully and with guidance from the best scientific minds. Our window of opportunity is closing. If we fail to improve our response now based on science, I fear the pandemic will get worse and be prolonged. There will be likely a resurgence of COVID-19 this fall. It will be greatly compounded by the challenges of seasonal influenza. Without better planning, 2020 could be the darkest winter in modern history. First and foremost, we need to be truthful with the American people. Americans deserve the truth. The truth must be based on science. We have the world's greatest scientist. Let us lead. Let us speak without fear of retribution. We must listen. Each of us can and must do our part now. On Tuesday, Dr. Fauci delivered a message in a voice that is clear and trustworthy as he encouraged us to act with caution as we return to our daily lives. We should listen to him and other scientists sharing their expertise. While waiting for a cure and a vaccine, which I believe will come, there are things we must do immediately. We must increase the public education about the basics, washing hands, social distancing, appropriate face covering. They're simple but critical steps to buy valuable time until there's vaccine. We need to ramp up production of essential equipment and supplies, including raw materials and critical components. Shortages of these increase the risk of our frontline healthcare workers, and they deserve the best equipment to protect themselves. We need to facilitate equitable distribution of essential equipment and supplies. And finally, we need a national testing strategy. The virus is here. It's everywhere. We need to be able to find it, isolate it, and stop it. We need to have the right testing for everyone who needs it. We need to be able to trace contacts, isolate, quarantine, and appropriately while striving to develop a cure. Initially, our nation was not as prepared as we should have been, as we could have been. Some scientists raised early warning signals that were overlooked. And pages from our pandemic playbook were ignored by some in leadership. There will be plenty of time to look back to assess what has happened so we can improve. But right now, we need to focus on getting things right going forward. We need a comprehensive plan that everyone knows and everyone participates in. Congress has taken important steps to support the response, and there's much more we can do. With your help, we can get through this crisis. Working cooperatively, cooperatively with our global partners, we can and will succeed in finding a cure for COVID-19. But that success depends on what we do today. We will either be remembered for what we did or for what we failed to do to address this crisis. I call on all of us to act, to ensure the health, safety, and prosperity of all Americans. You can count on me to do my part.